coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. St. Lucia is expected to record economic growth of 3% this year, with the Barbados-based Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, saying that the growth appears poised to increase in large part due to private and public sector construction programs coming back on stream. In its Country Economic Review 2018 St. Lucia, the region's premier financial institution said that tourism activities are projected to expand and agricultural output will remain buoyant. It said the collections from the Citizenship by Investment program were particularly strong. September 2018 figures indicate a more than sevenfold rise to US$60.2 million from US$7 million US dollars for the same period a year earlier. Public sector debt was estimated to be 67.8% of GDP at the end of 2018, slightly down from 68.5% a year earlier. The impact natural disasters can have on an island's national social protection system came in for thorough discussion recently at the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment. Climate shocks are not only responsible for increasing humanitarian crisis, but are also leading factors in augmenting poverty and food insecurity. To deal with these situations, countries must implement systems that can respond effectively to protect the vulnerable who depend directly on social services for their survival and welfare. The Ministry is examining the issue in partnership with the United Nations World Food and the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, CIDEMA. On Saturday, 23rd March, newly installed lights were officially turned on at the Balata playing field. The occasion was celebrated with the hosting of a cricket match between the constituencies of Castries North and Babono. Castries North was managed by Honorable Stevenson King and Senator Herman Guild Francis, with Honorable Dominic Fede and host MP Honorable Ezekiel Joseph playing for the Babono team along with many talented players. In the end, Babono came out victorious. Minister for Education, Gender Relations and MP for Mikud North, Honorable Gail Rigabat, has officially opened the newly constructed recreational park in the community of Mon Repo. After considerable consultation with residents in the community, it was agreed that the facility would be named Teacher Joni Recreational Park after Miss Mary Joan Smith, affectionately known as Teacher Joni. Teacher Joni has touched hundreds of lives in Mon Repo, having begun her teaching career at age 18. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, has launched its newest marketing campaign, Limitless St. Lucia. The campaign promotes the destination as a true escape with beautiful scenery, people and lush natural resources, utilizing the images and stories submitted by everyday St. Lucians to provide potential visitors with an intimate look into life on the island. St. Lucians can get involved by sharing their images and videos online at stlucia.stories.travel slash invite slash guest. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority will bring these stories to the world by promoting the campaign through social channels, media placement and press releases. This has been your Midday News Brief. I am Anicia Antoine. Thank you for watching.